welcome you to the holy city of Gorakhpur along the bank of river Rapti, jeweled with pious Gorakhna temple and world's longest railway platform. University presents a view of lush green beauty having a spread of about 350 acres providing technical knowledge in the lap of nature. This is the statue of Madan Mohan Malviya, who was born in 1861 and died in 1946. He being a great politician, he was also notable for his work in Indian independence movement. He was four times the president of Indian National Congress. Here, just in front of university's main gate, is the center of every legitimate work of the university, that is, administrative block, comprising of VC office, registrar office and NCC office and other major offices of the university. If you want to get any of your official work done, then you have to pass through these gates. So here you see right behind me is the graffiti made by none other than the Fine Arts Club of our society that is the Cultural Senate in Abhyodaya 2018. Here we can witness the cultural ground which perceives a number of inaugural functions and tech fests that are held every year in Madan Mohan Malviya University. The appealing campus of our university has a guest house with all facilities. It provides a very pleasant stay to the visitors who visit to explore the college campus. The multi-purpose hall is used as a venue for various functions happening in the university. The hall is also used for various cultural activities and indoor games. The hall is fully air conditioned with a seating capacity of 800. The attractive interior designing of the hall makes it suitable for various musical events dramatics and orchestral practices. Multipurpose Hall is the center of various activities. Its beautiful location makes it a perfect venue for hosting various events. It is equipped with well-furnished seating arrangements, well-equipped audio-video equipments, well-maintained and hygienic washrooms, well-decorated stage facilities and proper lighting conditions. University has university cafeteria with Wi-Fi facilities and air-conditioned rooms, providing snacks, dinners and lunch at reasonable prices. We also have stores dedicated to other purposes such as the mood parlor, the coffee day beverages and the parade store. The university also has a health center having medical officers and the dispensary itself. There are also available the homeopathic services in the university itself. The central library operates on the open access system. The staff members and students are given free access to the books and journals which are kept on open shelves. It contains sufficient number of books and periodicals on scientific, technical and other subjects. Total number of books including bound journals and ISI code is 1,16,516. The library is fully Wi-Fi and also has e-books and e-journal facilities. Its special features include fully automated issue and return of books, OPAC, online public access catalog is available for 24-7 on intranet, CCTV network, air condition reading room facility, air condition e-library come reading room facility. Let's move to the ITRC that is Information Technology and Resource Center that was stabilized in 2005 under the two equipped program to provide central resource under one roof to the student. University comprises of three lecture hall complexes, namely Nalanda Lecture Hall Complex. Takshila Lecture Hall Complex and Pushpagiri Lecture Hall Complex with full Wi-Fi facilities and smart classes, all equipped with the latest modern technologies. The Department of Information Technology and Computer Application is the latest department in the university, inaugurated by the Honorable Vice Chancellor Professor S. N. Singh on 24th August 2018. The department has highly motivated and dedicated faculty members which train students to be perfect IT professionals. It has a vast legacy of highly reputed alumni working in India and abroad. Department of Chemical Engineering. This is the department with specialization in sugar and alcohol technology, which was commenced in the year 2016 and 17. Here, 
We provide the students with various fundamental engineering programs so that they can enhance their chemical engineering skills and also provide them support for further innovation in technology. For 22nd June 2019, this was the Department of Applied Science including Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics and Humanities. Now it has been splitted into four major segments. The training and placement cell plays a crucial role in providing job opportunities for graduates. The training and placement cell of Madan Mohan Malviya University of Technology was first included in the Applied Science Department and now it has its own building from 2nd November of 2015. It has been highly successful for maintaining high placement and high statistics. Council for Student Activities is the central authority which regulates technical, cultural and sports activities. Under the banner of CSA, different sub-councils function like technical sub-council, sports sub-councils, NCC, NSS etc. providing a necessary platform to the students. This cricket ground, football ground etc these all come under the authority of csa and yes if you're good at something be it like sports music dance anything and want exposure then csa is the only authority which provides you the trip to various institutions for different competition with the abundance of latest tools and machinery mechanical workshop of triple m ut is one of the largest workshops in uttar pradesh The needy efforts of students in this workshop had worked miracles in national competition. Welcome. We welcome you to the girls hostels. There are namely four girls hostels: the Kasturba Bhavan, the Sarojini Bhavan, the Saraswati Bhavan and the Kalpana Chawla Bhavan. So here I am standing in front of the Kasturba Bhavan which has a capacity of 500 girls. Each room is equipped with a Wi-Fi system and the entire hostel is provided with a common room for each and every girl. Now let's move to the place where your inner engineering starts, the boys hostel. We have seven boys hostels named after prestigious personalities of India, namely Subhash Bhavan, Raman Bhavan, Vishwasaraya Bhavan, Ambedkar Bhavan, Tagore Bhavan, Tilak Bhavan and Ramanujan Bhavan. This is the place where either you get lifelong friendships or a lifelong lesson. Apart from rooms for dwelling, having 24 hours 7 high speed internet connection, we have common rooms and a mess in each hostel equipped with necessary amenities. Uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, now this is university as you know it has now been reaching completion of 6 years at the moment we are having the 4500 students including both pg and ug students out of that even the 150 the phd students are working here the various uh, schemes we have started the depart the university started with the few branches only the six in the number now at the right now we are having the 11 departments and seven engineering department uh, engineering disciplines in the btech we are having bba mba mca and the msc programs in the all the three disciplines like physics chemistry mathematics and the phd in all these areas as well uh, we have started the new initiatives in the institutes including as you know the summer term we have started for the basically the weaker section the students we are having the various mus projects which is also running in this university both national and international levels various visitors are coming from all across the globe and also the exchange of the students have started and with all these things the india today the survey in 2019 we were ranked at the 15th in the all over the government institutions also even our students scored based on their performance coding etc this university is basically at the 44th level in all over the world that is also a bright moment for us our students are moving here and there they are attending various technical cultural and other sport programs the in various iits and nits and they are so good in good and their response good medals and other thing they are coming here uh, you know at per admissions uh, we are having the two type of admission schemes one our own examination we call it malviya entrance examination 
and the J mains as you all know. In this J mains, we are taking 20% the students from the J mains, 10% from our own state, and 10% from outside. So we are having the mixed cultures, mix and picking the brains from the both examinations, and the success lies on this. And the students are very active; so they are doing all the things. We are also giving various incentive to the students to attend conferences, both BTEC, MTEC, and the PSC levels, as well as the faculty. So the various schemes are running. We just got the MBA of the three departments. The UGC 12B is also visited and it is recommended by the committee. And hopefully we'll get the this one approval very soon.